Hi there, I'm going to show you how to use the new to respond creator in to email. Um, to save a little bit of time, I've already created a to respond and I'm just going to walk you through it. I'll show you how you create it in the teacher view. I'll then also show you what it's going to look like when the kids use it. And we'll just conclude by having a look at how you can uh, mark and review the work. So we're going to start uh, in to email and I'm logged in as a teacher and that's important. You'll need to be logged in as a teacher for this to work. So I'm going to click to respond creator. And the example I'm using, which I've made earlier, is about uh, pen friends. And they are, their children are going to receive a message from Vihan, who's a young boy in India, uh, eight years old. And he's going to tell them a little bit about his uh, life and where he lives. And then he's going to ask them to respond, um, telling him about uh, where they live and, and what their life's like. Obviously, it's important that in the context of this one, you'd have to explain um, that they should expect the email from Vihan and that it was uh, perfectly safe uh, to respond and tell him about their lives and what they do. So normally you would click the uh, create to respond to start from the beginning, but mine's already here. I'm just going to click double click on my created one. It's going to take me to exactly the same screen. It will just have some information already in there. So here it is. And the first thing I've done is I've given my activity a name and this one's called a message from India. And I've given a short description. So write to Vihan in India about your life at home. I've selected an icon uh, which will show up. Uh, the short term we have to see that. So I've chosen the Indian flag, but you, you can choose from the clip art gallery or you can upload an image yourself like I've done. Um, and then I'm, you choose a sender and you have an option of kind of pre-made uh, fictionary characters like the king and the grandma. But I opted to create a character. I created Vihan and I, I found an appropriate image for him so that it would feel realistic uh, for the children. The next thing I did was I assigned it to a class. So I've used this for year five. Uh, you could also assign it to multiple classes and you also have the option to assign it for groups. So that's the, that's the, that's the admin side, that's the setup side. So now I'm gonna move on to the actual content. And this is my first email. This is the first email that the children will receive when they open the activity. And the subject line is hello from India. And then I've written a body. So my body says, hello, my name is Vihan and I am eight years old. I live in Mumbai, which is a city on the west coast of India. And then he goes in a little bit uh, about what it's like living in Mumbai and it's a big city and what he likes doing. And he has also attached a photograph uh, of a market for the children to enjoy. So you can attach photographs, you can also attach work. And that one's saved. So the children will then be able to reply to that email. And obviously because it's a to respond activity, they can then receive emails back after they've sent their original. Now I'm just using a, uh, quite a, sh a short example. Mine's just two emails. I write to them, they reply, and then I'm gonna send them a thank you message you can have a multiple uh, email sequence. So you might say in the first one, tell me about your, your life at school. And then you might say, tell me about your life at home. And each time they reply, you might ask them more and more questions. But for this, just to get started, I'm using a very simple one, which only has two emails. So here's my first one. And all you have to do is press the insert button and it will give you uh, a copy of your original email that you can then change to create the next email. And mine's a thank you email, so my subject line says thank you. And it says, hello, I, I loved reading about you and your town. I hope one to save, see it with my own eyes, your friend, Vihan. And that's it, that would be the completed sequence. So the children would receive that reply back, thanking them for their email. So I'm now gonna save that. And that will now be accessible uh, for everybody in year five, however, what I actually want to do, in order to get them to, to, to do it and to let them know it's something I want them to be done, I'm going to set it as a to-do. And I'm going to do that by going uh, to to email. And you can see now that my message from India respond activity is visible. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to set as to-do. So if you've set to-dos before, is that the same process? If you haven't, I'll show you very quickly. I click set as to-do. It's going to have the title, it's got my description. I'm going to start this today and actually I want this in very quickly. I want this in by Monday and I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to sign this again, likewise to everyone in year five and I'm going to set as to do. 
And that's it. I'm now going to switch you over to the children's view and we're going to have a look at what it looks like from their point of view. So here we are logged in as Sam, who is a pupil in year five. And I'm in his to-do section and he'll know he has a new to-do because he'll get a little uh, notification up here. And I'm going to click start and it's going to take me into my inbox. And then, hey presto, I've got my message from Vihan. So I'm going to open that and I'm going to read Vihan's message and I'm going to have a look at the photograph that he attached. And when I'm ready, I'm going to reply. Now, I won't make you sit there while I write a long reply. So I have very uh, cleverly written my reply beforehand and I've copied it. So I've said, hello Vihan, my name is Sam and I live in London. It's also very busy here. Uh, London's very beautiful and there's lots of old buildings. Sometimes it rains, but I don't mind. And then I tell him about my favorite football team. So I'm going to send that. Now, I put a, a three second delay on the email. So it would just be a little bit more realistic. So there is, it doesn't arrive straight away. So it was three seconds. And now I have a reply from Vihan saying, I loved reading about you in your town. I hope one day to see it with my own eyes, your friend Vihan. And that is it. So that's the last sequence and I can just hand that in. I've finished. I enjoyed this. And now for the final time, I'm going to switch back to the teacher view and I'm going to show you what it would look like from the teacher's side. So here I am uh, logged in as a teacher and I can see in my notifications that Sam has handed his work in. So I'm going to go to my uh, to do's and I can see now uh, Sam's work is ready to read. So if I click on this and I can now see in one place the total conversation uh, between Vihan and Sam in year five. So I get Vihan's opener. I get Sam's reply and these white lines are because of my uh, naughty copying and pasting earlier. They wouldn't show normally. And then I can see Vihan's thank you. If there was more emails in uh, the sequence in the to respond activity, then they would all be displayed here. So I can print that if I want to, uh, but I don't need to. I'm perfectly happy with that. I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna add a comment to Sam saying, great job, Sam, very good writing. And that's it. That's how you use the uh, to respond creator. So I hope you have fun with it and we can't wait to see what you come up with.